back side of the baby back. And you'll see there's a almost a sheen, this membrane that runs across the back of the ribs. You really want to have this removed prior to smoking and rubbing your meat. What you're going to want to do is take a kitchen knife with a flat blade, no sharp edge, and just slide it underneath this membrane like this, okay? You're going to push it all the way through and, and come up on the back end like this. So once that's happened, you've gotten the end of the, the membrane pulled up like this. You're going to take a paper towel. A paper towel works great. Um, a dish towel will too, but it's, it allows you to really get a grip on that membrane. And you're just going to want to pull it straight off like this. It's going to come the entire length wise right off in there. That's how you get all of that off. You don't want to leave this fat here, that's flavor. This is perfect. This is what you want to see. So the next step with this process is we're going to put a good rub down. I like to make my house rubs. I'll blend different seasons seasonings that I like. Cumin gets in here. You'll find coffee in here. Different salts. Some smoked salts that I actually did in the Game Changer. So it's kind of fun because you get to be creative. And um, so I'm just going to liberally coat my ribs. I'll start on the bottom because I've already started working on here. And really want to rub it into the meat. Get it along the tops. Like this okay and then let's flip it over and again you want a good little coat of this nice rub so when I feel like I'm pretty good with this and maybe I want to do a few more ribs do it all the same way I'm gonna move them over to a perforated tray allow the smoke to get up and in to that rib and got my game changer going. I'm gonna drop it in here. One little trick you might wanna try is, it's called the Texas Crutch. Halfway through, pull your rib out, wrap it in foil, put it back in the oven for a few hours. You'll find that it steams inside that foil pack. It tenderizes the meat to where it's fall off the bone. And then you wanna take it back out, put it back on the smoker so it can get that nice bark on the outside. Um, once you see that and your meat's ready, pull it on out and enjoy. There you go, folks. That's what they should be coming out like.